Hey everybody this is Arosh Manik and I welcome back to yet another video and well once again many of you are getting the latest update on the OnePlus Nord which I really wanted to share my thoughts on before you guys press that update button on your device so in this video I'll let you know my experience with this Oxynos 12.1 based 11.f.16 version and whether you should consider updating your device to this version or not as they have already halted out every other version though this one came via OTA and you can even use the oxygen updater application for the same so before we start make sure to tap on that subscribe button for more videos like this one and in case you wish to watch this video in hindi language here is a card to the bit tech hindi channel now as usual there isn't much to share about the new features but this update finally brings geo 5g support to this device something that you guys were waiting for since a long time but you still cannot use it with this version as it is invite only Also the device is now on October 22 security patch which is a month behind but it's fine still. Now coming to the benchmark scores I tested the device on Geekbench and previously the device used to score 605 in single core and 1774 in the multi core score. And after this update the device now scores 597 in single core and 1775 in the multi core score. And the single core score has also been dropped by some points but not that much though. On the Android 2 the device scored around 4 lakh 1000 points which is fine too. Coming to the fixes now and first up the charging time issue well that has been fixed here and the device now charges in 1 hour almost straight. And honestly it was one of the main annoying issues with the previous versions. Next up the camera well the camera application is upgraded to the version 7.0.50 and the shutter delay here is quite improved in this version. Also here are some samples and the image quality is pretty much same as previous versions. After this I wanted to talk about gaming and BGMI since many of you asked me about it and I did try some TDM and classic matches in the previous version it was straight up trash I used to get like around 35 fps in 6 to 7 minutes of gaming but now it has improved quite a bit and the game is quite playable and the fps is stable for a long period of time if you are on under 12 already this is a much better version for gaming in my opinion next up the idle battery drain and the battery life Here the things are pretty much close to the previous version and I got around 6 hours mostly that is fine for a device this old. The idle drain was also around 5% which is okay if not the best. Rest in the overall usage the device did fine and I did find it to be better as compared to the older versions and it is definitely much more usable for games and overall day to day usage. Plus here the 5G is also enabled so the phone can finally offer a little more value for some users. And you can update to this version if you are okay with this new ui so that's pretty much it for now and this was a short video on the oneplus nord oxynos f.16 update so if you do end up liking this video make sure to tap on that subscribe button and hit that like button as well thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one